We'd like to sincerely thank our Patreon supporters. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am uh, carrying some branches to the front, and uh, we're currently shooting another video. But you know me, at the same time, there's six different things going on. So, Giovanni Lani. Lani's Lizards. Actually, I think he changed his YouTube channel. I think it's under Giovanni Lani now. Um, maybe we need to do that. Is it smarter to have it under your name? Um, he's coming by. He has a presumed female black dragon and he is considering trading her for one of our guru sulfur male holdbacks. Um, I think, I think we have a male and a female. Well, we have Boba, who's a definitive male. And then one of the other two, which I don't want to make them like all shy and excited over the camera. But this one, that this shed, a really, really pretty shed, to me looks more female. And then, of course, is it going to be hiding? Female black dragon. Oh, it's in this one against the, the wall there. That one's about to go through a shed. I know you can't really see it. I think that one's a male. And hopefully he could see past the, the fact that the animal is about to shed because its colors look very dull compared to what it's going to look like. Um, I was about to thaw out some food for all of them. Hopefully, uh, maybe I can get some warm water and some uh, small little rats or something like that. I've, uh, I don't think I've fed these guys whole baby rats yet they've only had chopped up so maybe we'll thaw that out and we'll get to feed them when Gio's here and uh, see what he thinks about this possible trade it could be good we definitely need I mean I have a presumed female black dragon that I'm raising up but it would be nice to have two to gamble with instead of just the one so let me get that uh those rodents thawing out. All right, guys. So <laughs> here with my buddy Gio. What's going on, everybody? How how y'all doing? And you guys, your YouTube channel, you changed it because I always yeah. want to say Lonnie's, Lonnie's lizards, lizards. But you're it's... not the only one. I think uh, Ken has done that once or twice. I think. Well, let's correct it. Let's say it correctly. Gio Lonnie, which is my Gio name. Gio Lonnie. All right. Like, and I said that correctly in the very beginning of the video. <laughs> and that's smart name recognition. Yeah. All right, and because you do so much stuff with aquarium yeah, I do fish, a lot of different saltwater stuff. aquariums. At first, and... I was more dedicated to just the reptiles. Now I'm kind of all over the place trying to figure it all out. But so, how do you get your channel to do that? Because I've been trying like hell to introduce fishing and stuff to my channel, and it's not. Uh, honestly, dude, you just gotta do it, and it'll just, just do it. Just do it, man. I'm gonna force it down y'all's throat. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just fed well. Everybody else ate their young rat, and of course, the one that I wanted him to see eat well didn't eat. But this is the one that we presume is the male, and that's what he's looking for. Um, but you know what? I'm okay if he wants to gamble with the other one, either this one, or we can go and look at the other lizard again. I think I showed him to you guys this morning. Norman, if I can get this to close. Yeah, everybody else just, they ate their first whole rats today. Uh, that's Boba. Boba's not going anywhere. Boba is beautiful. <laughs> All right, I think we're... So this one here, which, you know, I was thinking, yeah, I think this one's the female, the skinnier. belly after that one. Yeah, well, it was a nice size, nice size rat. Oh, look at it just spreading out of the sun, <laughs> even with the camera pointed at it. I love the amount of black that is around the ocelli to define it. It's jet black around them. She is really beautiful. really, really pretty. Um, and probably why I held on to her in the first place. <laughs> and I'm saying her, I'm no expert. I'm just guessing um, by the, the, the width of the snout and all that. That's what I mean. Um, I'm kind of guessing with the black dragon, I hope. All right, so now we're going to look at 
What's the name of this female that you brought toothless. her? Toothless. Toothless. Yeah. Toothless. There's a lot of toothless, toothless black dragons. Black dragons out there. Um, all right. So do we need a, a screw gun undo yeah, this? Definitely. All right. I will be right back. Yeah. All right. So Geo is opening the lid. He's gonna try and grab her so they carefully. Can... I'm not gonna force the. I would close that side and I would approach her from behind. Gosh, she's tense. She's what? She stinks. <laughs> you know, if you think that her behavior is bad because she's scared yeah, it or is. angry, you know, I can't imagine any young lady that would appreciate being called toothless. <laughs> Just, okay. She's a little unhappy with you. Got cold. Sorry about that. Maybe you should have named her princess. Or... All right, so that is a... I'm just looking at facial structure. That to me is a short, wide face. I know. Oh. Can we see the base of the tail? So. Maybe I should have gloved it. what we're looking for. Now this is not a sexually mature lizard, so it's kind of here. And I'm just gonna just hold it for one second. What we're looking for, the male albinos up there, is these hemipenal bulges that are at the base of the tail, whereas a female wouldn't have that. But also an immature male won't have that. Um, she sounds clear though. <laughs> yeah? So it doesn't sound like she has a respiratory. But you see how she tries to flick, she tries to flick the tongue. Oh, here it goes. I told you when you get her like pretty stressed out, it starts to come out. So in the enclosure, yes, I don't even know if you guys are seeing her because we're, we're filming into a black enclosure, yeah, a jet hard. black lizard. It's hard to see her. Now you've raised her up from a baby. Oh yeah. Where Tiny. did she come from? She came from Cold Bloody Kingdom. Okay. Over and off of a... Uh, down south, I think it's in Deerfield. Okay. Kind of right across the street from Underground Reptiles. There's her tongue. Is it? Is her tongue flicking? Yeah. I mean, right now, I guess I could guess female. She just didn't grow as like quick how, as my buddy. Old? My buddy got one around the same time as me. And Definite male, I mean, dude. He's almost and, like six feet. He's huge. Okay. Well, I mean, so, like, like, there's her tongue. Yeah. See, when you get her, she's little, just. She's just afraid. I think she's just, something has stressed her, a bad experience, and she's having trouble getting past it. And you maybe haven't reset yeah, so and started being she, careful and you I start know. kept handling the same way you were and you really have to take right. six steps back, almost like you have to be careful the way you approach the situations. So she kind of, she was really a sweetheart inside and then uh -huh. we just recently moved her into a pretty large outdoor enclosure and that kind of just she just freaked out she a lot a lot of new space natural uvb and i think it just kind of uh kind of spooked her out a little bit all right well you want to just close the lid on her again i mean if you guys hopefully can see there now i think we're actually in focus he's not holding her tight she is actually tongue flicking seeing the camera so let's close it back on her, and then you want to grab the lid. And yeah, start to I like can do that. Way. You can smell the fish. All, all I can smell is the shrimp on me. <laughs> I'm so, so afraid to handle anything barehanded right up. now. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna get this screwed down real quick. And, uh, and then we're gonna try and discuss this deal and if we can make something happen that works out for both of us. All right, so we made the deal. Geo picked the, uh, the Guru Sulfur male um, that, uh, well, presumed male. And uh, we got that cage. He's borrowing my, uh, the small rolling cage that it was in on the driveway. So he's taking that home and we have his female black dragon in there. So what I asked Gio to do was help me lift the top enclosure 
that the albinos started off in. So these were the first two enclosures that I built for them to get started. Um, the male sulfur pretty soon is moving outside. So to me, I can't stand him in that little enclosure, but he'll move outside very soon. But we lifted this one up, got fresh mulch down on the bottom. I know everyone says that they hate mulch, but I don't know, it doesn't smell all that strong to me. I'm also using it in a ventilated cage. I also feed on tr food trays so they're not consuming the mulch. And uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, everyone says they don't like it. I've never had an issue with it. Um, I just don't follow what everyone else says. It, it, it has to, I have to learn from my own mistakes or I do what makes sense to me. Um, so I think the next step is to put her water in there. The only sense of a hide box she's gonna have is that little corner right there. Um, so she'll be able to hide somewhat, but she's gonna be, we're gonna use this as a cage to help socialize her and be able to, now he said that she was perfectly tame earlier when he had her inside and um, that he said it wasn't until he moved her outside that she kind of went a little bonkers and went backwards. So we'll see if we can't get her back to being somewhat tame, at least not a run and hide monitor. And, and then in the next couple weeks when it's warm enough, we'll move her outside. So we'll just use this as a transitional cage, get her eating again, a little bit less stressed about being here. And, um, and I, I'm going to go find Kagan. I know I think she's working on, either her snakes or her plants right now. I'll go find her and uh, see if we can't get this lady transferred. All right, I found Kagan. She was, of course, playing with plants and setting up uh, an enclosure for your plated lizard. Yes, putting some plants in there with her. Again, we're gonna share all of her animals on the channel very soon. But, are you excited about moving her? Yes. Did you see the enclosure set up? So I got the mulch in there. I think the only other thing we need to set up there is the water. And on these, I like to just put it right in front of the door so it's easy to sneak out for a water change. Easy, go. easy. And then we can use whichever door to sneak her in. Let's see, both of these are easy. God, I feel like these black painted ones work so much better than the stainless or galvanized ones. Um, they just seem to be smoother. All right, so when we lift up, we just gotta pay attention to which way she's facing. Can I tell you how good it feels to be someone else's assistant for a change? <laughs> She's facing this way. Pretty girls. But, yeah, there you go. All right, she's a little upset, but not too, too upset. Yeah, look at the base of her tail here. Yeah, too. Still looks female-ish. Hey, mama. She's thinking about biting, but not trying to bite at all. She just has gone through something. <laughs> this black screen's great on this enclosure because we can still film quite easy through it. So she's got her face just in the shadow. She's going to go right into that corner. So what I think we'll do is just like I always like to do, leave them alone. Let her settle in. Let her settle in. And then we'll thaw her out something good to eat for tomorrow and we'll try and do a tongue feeding. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe get like, you know, over the next day uh, or two, get a couple more good shots of her in there. And uh, I'm pretty happy. She's pretty. Um, <laughs> what are we gonna call her? 
don't know. We're gonna figure that out tonight. We're gonna figure it out. Either we're gonna figure it out, or you guys can help us figure it out. You know, tell us what you think we should name our besides Toothless. No offense, Gio. <laughs> or anyone else with a lizard named Toothless. I just think that I don't want to name one of our animals the same as everybody else. Everybody else. I just like to be different. How about oh, you? I agree. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll be back on this. All right. It's the next day. Kagan and I are in the garage and we are feeding the I am Samani. A yam Samani. Yep. I am Samani. A yam. A yam. A Y A M. This is how Jerry learns how to speak. I am Samani chicken, which is black. The meat is, you said, I think earlier, this is a cross, mm -hmm. but the meat is actually black. So that is not rotten chicken. Yep. The meat is actually black inside of this chicken. Mm -hmm. And why, it, it why are we feeding this chicken? Was it an extra rooster? Yeah, or? it was an extra rooster. So right there, you can see a really good example of the bone. The bone is even black. Yep. It looks like it was soaked in dirty mo motor oil. But she's been all through her enclosure. She's been in and out of the water. She is on the other side of the water tub. I'm sure I'm stressing her out with the camera. Um, I would probably go from this side okay. and just go for the longer reach just because she's in a new enclosure and somewhat stressed out. So I'm gonna keep my distance, but it would be great if she ate He's done flicking. All right, so this is what he said. She tongue flicks without sticking her tongue out. Oh, she wants it. Hmm. That's wild. She is trying to tongue flick. This is exactly what he said. Now she was tongue flicking yesterday. You want to eat honey? I see when her eyes focus off of me and then they go back to the meat. Now they're on me. I'm moving further away. Now I would remove the chicken and try that quail egg okay. and set that in front of her and see. So I always say that um, these monitors are like, like young kids with their weird food preferences. Let's see now, see, she's excited about the tongs. Let's see what she does. She gets excited about the tongs moving in front of her. It's like she wants to eat. Now she's in a place with no crazy UV. You know, the garage does have, you know, it's open to the sunlight, so there is UV in here, but not direct. UV only works when it is direct, isn't it right? I think so. I think so. So. He said that she was kept inside for a while. And was super was, happy inside. And then was moved outside and kind of freaked out a little bit, didn't like it so much. Try that good juicy piece. Yeah. Maybe the other one had too much bone in it for her. With a little wiggle. Put it more in front of her instead of over her. Uh, she wants it. That's kind of good. Her eye is hidden from me. Alright. I'd put the food back on the tray and set it there. And then we'll check back in an hour and see what happens. Lots of shy monitors or monitors in new enclosures are secret eaters. And she may wait for us to walk away to come over and get that. So we'll check right back. All right, guys. 15 minutes later, I walked back in. She is side eyeing me right now, but she ate everything on the tray. Um, well, she still has her quail egg over there, but maybe the smell of the chicken was too much. I don't know if you guys can even see her face. She's right there. She's half standing on the tray. So we'll just slowly work with her and get her back calm with us. And uh, as long as we get her to a point where she doesn't run and hide, she's fine for our 
for breeding for the purpose of that whereas I think Gio maybe felt like he went too far in bringing her outside and you know maybe he's got a newborn baby so that requires a lot of his time so maybe he felt like he kind of lost control of her a little bit and wanted to start over with another lizard and because we're friends the opportunity was there which I don't blame him for so um, we love to have her we're gonna give her a good home and as soon as we know that we have her not stressed and more comfortably tongue flicking and stuff like that we'll move her to an outdoor enclosure and um, I think like I said go ahead and shoot us ideas for a name um, just not toothless or Betty there's too many of those out there as well for the black dragons but we'll figure out something good and uh, I think Kagan and I are gonna go bass fishing I'm exhausted I was just doing fiberglass work so I wouldn't mind some fresh air and um, other than fishing in the pond for about 10 minutes one afternoon right before sundown we haven't had an opportunity so we'll uh, grab two rods from up there and some soft plastic baits and try and have some fun all right guys until next time thanks for watching everyone please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and ring the notification bell see you soon